And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments. And for he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they say, Hallelujah! And her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty and four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne saying, Amen! Hallelujah! And a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Hallelujah! For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her it was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he said unto me, Write, Blessed are they which call unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as the flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. He was clothed with a vesture, dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come, gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bond both small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, 
which he deceived them that received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceedeth out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. Are you saved? The king is coming. Now he's not coming again to be a lamb led to the slaughter. Like with before the shears and open not his mouth. No, no, he's not going to be strapped to a whipping post, lashed 39 times with a cat of nine tails, tearing his skin, tearing his flesh from off of his back. He's not going to be beaten with a reed or smote with the palm of the high priest Caiaphas' hand. He's not going to be judged in Pilate's hall, paraded around, mocked with a crown of thorns on his head and a purple robe around his shoulders. No, he will not carry a cross through the Vela de la Rosa, through the cobblestone streets of the ancient city of Jerusalem, and his blood dripping into the very cracks and crevices of the souls of human humanity. No. He will not be nailed to an old rugged cross again, to hang between the heavens and the earth, to spill his innocent blood upon a, cur a sin-cursed world, to be a the lamb led to the slaughter and give his life. No, he's coming back this time as the king, riding that white horse and that priestly garment, that vesture, well, it's dipped in his blood. He'll be clean and white, his horse is white, and those that ride with him will be wearing white. The bride of Christ prepares herself to get ready. Are you ready? Time is running out. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my, my greatest thoughts is that some of you watching this very video will not repent of your sin. And we remember this YouTube video, remember this preacher reading to you the very prophetic words of the coming of Christ and how you did not receive the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Give your life to the Lord. This is why we come every day. We show you the current world events, how they relate to Bible prophecy and the power of the word of God. Well, this is the word of God. This is your hour. This is your time. The armies of heaven are prepared. The wrath of God will be poured out, but you don't have to be a part of that. I'm not going to be a part of that. It's time to prepare ourselves to meet the bridegroom for he is coming. Do you want to be saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you shall be saved. With the heart, man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confessions made unto salvation. How do you get saved? Well, you need to repent of your sins and call upon the name of the Lord and open your heart's door to Jesus Christ and just tell him, come into my heart, Lord. Save me. Forgive me of my sins. Repent. And ask for his grace, ask for his mercy. Talk to God. Accept his son, Jesus, as the son of God. Believe that he died on a cross and that he rose from the dead, tearing down the hinges of hell's gates, snatching the keys of hell and death from Lucifer himself and condemning Lucifer and his band of angels into eternal damnation. But not you. You don't have to go there. You can receive the power and the joy Jesus Christ. Salvation only by his name and no other name. But you would like to pray, send me a personal email if you want me to help you right here on this YouTube channel. Go to my channel page and just type, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Do it now. I'll respond to you. We'll help you pray in Jesus' name.